official match. Exactly. Like that. Now he started to come. Another little thing here for those younger wrestlers to watch, what Sharon Brock's doing is he's not rushing to a pinning combination until he gets the near fall in. The official's counting it. I'm going to hold this position, secure my count. Now then I can go ahead and work on getting that pin position. Sharon Brock gets the three near fall. He's up 7 nothing. He will go down to start this third period. In those situations, too many times younger wrestlers will rush themselves to that pinning position and uh, end up losing that near fall. Oh, the fall! Oh, what's in the cradle? Oh my goodness, this would be the upset of... You can't even put in the words here. His fall got the cradle locked in. Unbelievable. Sharon Brock said the lower fall caught him in the cradle. And now Sharon Brock is out. Are you kidding me? 7-3 game on here in this third period. There was an incredible gap from this entire arena when Fall hit that cradle, and here he is in another position again. Sharon Brock getting himself head tucked, and Fall taking every possible chance here to see if he can get yet another turn out of this. And just like that, the complexion of this match has switched as Mohammed Fall nearly had the state champion pin. And Sharon Brock's not out of the woods yet here, Mel. Is Fall still on top? Uh, yeah, I'm sure right now Sharon Bach's just trying to gather himself and figure out, okay, wait a second, what?